guys I came to this area today You'll, you've been here before it was where all those gas canisters were found and I've been learning a lot recently about the, the, the precious metals in phones and computers e-waste essentially and it got me thinking about generally metal and precious resources so I thought I'll come back and try and find those gas canisters and see if I can scrap them um, and put metal back into the system basically rather than sat out here not being used at all and nobody knows it's here and then I forgot the time of year and that all, all the foliage is back um, so I've just nipped in and I'm just doing I guess a bit of a litter pick um, picking up metals, the cans that are behind me so I'm just going to go around the area, the areas that I can ac access and um, just try and get some recycling really this is the pile of non-recycling which does include two nappies <laughs> um, and then behind me is the recycling um, so I'll just scout around here a little bit more and then we'll move to a different location but um, I did find one of the gas canisters so I must have picked it up and moved it because I don't remember seeing it in that place before so um, hopefully there's only one still knocking about that I need to come across or would like to come across really is all voluntary but um, yeah we'll move location now I think alright so this section is a proper shit tip in my black bag is my recycling and the green bag is non-recyclables probably going to have to get a black bin bag on the go for the non-recyclables but yeah we'll definitely need to look around this area so all right let's uh, put my bag down make a start
I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, got a bag, full bin bag of general waste. Oh, nearly full bin bag of, of recycling. Um, but I don't want it to get too heavy or end up with too many bags that I can't carry back to the car. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. There is a lot more to do. <laughs> um, but that's going to be for another day. So, yeah. I mean, this area looks much better than it did when I started out. Um, it's a shame I didn't find that other gas canister. I might have a scout around off camera. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to put these with the gas canister that I did find. And then I'm going, going to go and check on my river, see how that's doing. Guys, I wish I was recording my reaction then as I just walked around the corner. So I just just for those of you that follow me regularly at the river I'm at the, the spot where the two culverts were the one with the drugs in and I've just walked around the corner and look at this look at it I mean what the hell has happened here I mean pollution for starters which oh coming from this culvert what the hell and then severe blockage there and I can see it's all standstill at the other side as well we're gonna have to go around the other side and see what's going on I can't believe this you should honest I wish I'd recorded my reaction when I came round look at the state I'm going to have to report it, aren't I? But this is coming out clean. Which is confusing me because this, this is the side that comes from the industry. And that side comes further up. Which I've made a video of, but I've not loaded it yet. Alright, well, let's have a look at the rest of the river. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to stop recording a minute and take a photo to send it to the Environment Agency. Blocked, as expected. But look at how far the pollution goes. I mean, it's going to go all the way, isn't it? This is it from the other side. Let me see if I can get over. massive blockage there I don't know where these trees have come from it doesn't look natural right I'm gonna take another picture coming up to the culverts now on the other side and this, is, oh my God, that wall's fallen in. Oh, it's fallen in. But this is, this is what I said was the industry side. We've got like a industrial state there. But this is clear. But if you look over there, I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up. It's all coming from upstream. Let me get round. Look. Oh, it's still clear. The ball bouncing there. Look. And I don't know where this. I've I have walked up here, and that's in a separate video. And at the end of it is just um, a pipe, not um, like a drainage pipe. And I have no idea where it goes or comes out to or what, whatever. Right, I'm going to take another picture. Here it is. This is the culprit. 
the like well I refer to it as a drainage pipe but I'm not really sure might be a small culvert but this is where it's coming from and then it's going downstream to the culverts that we know and love but I have got no idea where this goes it goes sort of it just goes underground bit well straight up um, don't know where it comes out at because we've just got the A38 on the left and then on the right it becomes sort of woodland and then the industrial estates is sat further back so I'm going to take my what three word location and send this to seven Trent Water and the Environment Agency all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video today it's a bit of a sad one for me to be honest all the litter I've picked up and then the polluted river um, but I've done what I need to do I've recorded it I've took photos and I've took what three word locations so I'm just walking up now to where I put all the rubbish and then I'll pop it in my car take it home and I'll sort it properly thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you next time there we are all done in the car two black bin bags blue bag of glass and one small gas canister all to go in the bin thanks guys see you next time